the Google Data Analytics Professional Certification still worth it in 2022? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over just that. And the things I'll be including in this review are why I think the Google Data Analytics is still worth it. If you don't want to watch this entire review, I do have timestamps below and you can just check out why I think it's worth it. And the short answer is yes. The price and the cost benefit analysis, skills that you will learn with the Google Data Analytics certification, job titles that the Google Data Analytics certification will prepare you for, salaries of different jobs, does the Google Data Analytics certification replace a degree, how do you frame the data analytics certification on your resume, this is really important, and what are some supplemental resources to help you land a job. I do have a more detailed review and I linked it right here. This is just a continuation of that video. Also, I have partnered with Coursera and they are offering $100 off for a limited time between December 27th and January 13th on their Coursera Annual Plus subscription. I just recently read a book, Skip the Line by James Altucher, and in this book he talks about trying 10,000 different things to figure out what you like. And also when you do this, you gain a better perspective on all of IT, data analytics, software development, and you just can zoom out of the whole picture. In this annual subscription, not only will you get the Google Data Analytics course, but you'll get all of the Google Professional Certification courses, and I have been through many of them, and they are very good. I have reviews if you want to check them out. So if you're confused and you're not really sure what you want to do, Coursera Annual Subscription, you can try all of the different fields. The link is below. Why is the Google Data Analytics Professional Certification still working? it in 2022. In my opinion, the number one reason to take this course is because it really helps you ask better questions. And you're like, well, what does that have to do with getting a job? Well, that will help you get a better job because instead of saying, wow, I can't stand my job, you'll ask yourself, how can I prepare myself for a better job? And then that will lead you into taking a Google professional certification or signing up for the Coursera annual subscription because it's such a good deal. Questions you ask really determines like the information you're going to grab. If you never have the idea of changing your job or asking how I can improve on my skills or or what I can do to make more money, then you're never going to be led to maybe I should get a more in-demand skill set. This course really sets you up on how to ask better questions, which not only helps you in your job, but it also helps you in your personal life. So instead of saying, I just can't afford it, you could ask yourself, how can I afford it? And this will lead you to an entire new life, part of Google that you weren't even aware of because that thought, that question never even came to your mind. And so this course could just change your life. Maybe that was a little intense for this review. The data analytics, skill set is extremely valuable and you most likely will be able to land an entry-level data analytics jobs. Now remember that entry-level data analytics jobs are a lot of data cleaning and this is not a very difficult skill and this course definitely prepares you on how to clean data. These jobs are extremely flexible so if you want a work at home data analytics job this may be a great field to go into. And you may be wondering well what's the price of the Google data analytics certification? Google says will take you six months to complete. And so that is $234. Coursera annual subscription, currently $100 off. Link is below in the description for a limited time until January 13th is only $299. In comparison, if you were to go to a private college and get the same education, because this course is definitely equal to a college credit, then that at a private school, that would cost you $3,278. Isn't that mind blowing? If you went to a public state school, that course would cost you $935. If you went to a community college, it would cost you $338. Been through the Google Data Analytics course, and I've been through brick and mortar course courses, and let me tell you, the information provided, I would actually say is better in the Google courses than the brick and mortar courses that I have taken for me personally. Some really good skills and valuable 
skills that you're going to learn with the Google Data Analytics Professional Certification is number one, you're gonna learn how to ask better questions and more data-driven questions. You're gonna learn data cleaning, analysis, learning spreadsheets, the basics of SQL, R programming, and Tableau. And these are all very good skills and it gives you a good base knowledge that you can go and take more advanced courses and actually understand what's going on. You'll learn how to present and storytell this data, which is also a really valuable skill in data analytics. You'll also understand what a data analyst does day to day with their job. I do have a review that goes more in depth on what you will learn in each one of these, but you learn the foundations of data, presentation of data, data analysis, and all of that cool stuff. Some job titles that the Google Data Analytics Professional Certification hosted by Coursera prepares you for entry-level data analyst. You can also add a few cybersecurity skills, which is definitely doable. If you get the Coursera annual subscription, the link is below. There are cybersecurity courses included and if you can learn data analytics along with some cybersecurity skills you can combine them and get a job in cyber intelligence a solution associate it asks for a basics of cybersecurity and a basics of data analytics which is awesome and this is an entry-level job it may be something worth pursuing maybe you want to do business intelligence in which case data analytics knowing these skills could definitely help you land a business intelligence job or if you have already a skill set and you can just add data analytics to it, I'm sure the possibilities are endless because data, every company is basically a data company. So let's get into the salaries of the Google Data Analytics Professional Certification. And we're just gonna look at this bookmark by Coursera because they did all the research. Four to six years, you can make around $72,000 according to Glassdoor. And now remember, these are just averages. You could probably make way more than this. You could also make way less than this. Maybe you want to become the director of data analytics and the average income for this is $147,000. And it also depends on what industry you go into. If you go into a finance industry for data analytics, you most likely can make way more money than say if you go into a health related data analytics. So you have to consider the location. If you work in San Francisco, you can definitely make more money than say if you were to live in the middle of nowhere, Ohio, you also have to factor in cost of living. There's a lot of factors that go into that also. And then maybe you want to make a jump and so some other job titles other than data analyst, data scientist, data engineer, analytics manager, business intelligence analyst. A really good book on how to negotiate your salary is Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. And I say that because for every job, there's a range. They're always going to start you at the bottom of the range and it's up to you to extract more money from the company because they're not just going to offer it to you. They're trying to get the best value. Your resume really matters in this. Check out this right here on how to frame it on your resume. I'll put a screenshot right here. So does the Google Data Analytics professional certification replace a degree? Maybe for certain companies it does. Google has said it has replaced their degree requirement but remember getting into Google is also extremely difficult. If you want to work for the government, a degree is extremely valuable because it helps you get past HR. Even in the private sector, a degree can shave off years of experience. They'll take the risk on hiring you. I wouldn't say it replaces a degree. However, it can help you get a job, which is the entire point. You just need to get a job. And this will definitely help you because it teaches you skills. Also how to think about it. And if you're curious, if you want more supplemental resources, there's a couple of really good YouTube channels. One of them being Alex the Analyst, Luke Barros, Bruce? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Leave a comment below. A good book is Storytelling with Data if you really want to go deep into storytelling, which is fascinating. If you want to combine cybersecurity and data analytics, a really good book is Practical Threat Intelligence and Data-Driven Threat Hunting. Honestly, that just sounds fascinating. 2022 is really just a great opportunity to start your career in data analytics. I do have the Coursera Google Google Data Analytics subscription below in the link. 
Um, also remember they're doing a limited time discount between December 27th and January 13th for $100 off of their annual subscription. This is a great opportunity to try as many different courses as you want. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you get a job in data analytics, and I will see you next time. Bye.